fuel keeps the wheels of the economy running. In this regard, government's intention to remove subsidies on fuel and electricity has received mixed reactions. Saint Siluimba, a Lusaka resident who is a metal fabricator by profession, is of the view that the increment in electricity tariffs is inevitable. Electricity, no matter what, it's themselves who are seeing the impact which they are facing. As we just follow the instructions by the government, with the government can increase the tariff of electricity. Other residents feel the cost of living will go up when subsidies are removed on electricity and fuel. Meaning it will affect a lot of people. So if they are saying that they will remove the subsidy, meaning a lot of people will suffer. Removing subsidies will make the cost of all commodities to rise. When subsidies, power and fuel prices are adjusted, transport and basic needs will go up. But for energy expert Johnston Chikwanda, keeping the subsidies will make rebuilding the economy difficult. I have supported the decision by government to remove the subsidies in the next financial year. It is not sustainable. If nothing is done, it will destabilize and cause heavy dislocations to the national budget performance. Mr. Chikwanda has appealed to different stakeholders to support government's reforms in the energy sector as they are well intended. Meanwhile, Center for Trade Policy and Development uh, Executive uh, Director uh, Isaac Mwepopo feels citizens' concerns are sector. understood. Uh, well, this is uh, something that uh, we do understand uh, from the work that we are doing and uh, the citizens have got uh, every reason to uh, raise uh, concerns. Uh, this is because it is true on one hand that the removal of subsidies will actually uh, raise the cost of uh, doing business uh, in our country uh, because uh, if you look at uh, uh, fuel, it is actually an ingredient uh, that feeds into uh, several other uh, sectors. Probably Mr. Maipopo, uh, however, the states the reasoning for government's plan to remove uh, But subsidies. besides that, we all need to get to understand the reasoning behind uh, government's intent to remove uh, these subsidies. And uh, one of the major reasons is the fact that uh, our economy has uh, deteriorated. Uh, it's uh, performing poorly, but besides uh, it's performing uh, poorly, we are having a serious challenge to mobilize the same resources that we've been using uh, to subsidize uh, consumers. Uh, added to that is uh, the issue of uh, uh, the high level of uh, public debt. Government spends over $67 million monthly to subsidize fuel pump prices and currently owes about $480 million for unpaid fuel supplied. Mary Kachepa, ZNBC News, Lusaka. Remember to hit the like button, place a comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.